In the late uh, 1950s and certainly all through the 60s, there were uh, many innovations that uh, came and went and uh, Sputnik came out in the 1957, the Russians were competing, the uh, U.S. had to respond, how do we get innovative in science and math? So they put uh, millions of dollars into producing curriculum. People weren't, at that time, thinking about, well, how do we serve 100% of the children? And we discovered a big gap between what was supposed to be happening, what people said were happening, and, and what was going on in the classroom. John Goodlatte, a famous uh, educator, uh, did a book called Behind the Classroom Door. Uh, which he said, when you get behind the classroom door, it's a different world that the themes that are supposed to be happening actually aren't, aren't there. It's a, it's, a, it's a private world. It's, a, it's something that we don't know enough about. The big black box of implementation. People weren't even using the word implementation until several of us began in 1968, 69, 1970 to say, let's look at this closely. And so that's why it stuck. It, it, it named the problem. It started to identify the do's and don'ts of implementation. And we began to uh, identify those and then actually help people put them into practice. First at the school level and increasingly on a larger scale, which included the school, but it started to encompass the whole system. So we became experts, I want to say, in quality implementation on a very large scale.